there is this realization that this is uh, in a sense an enforced stillness that is upon us right now this is not something that we have embraced it is enforced it's not something that we have uh, a situation we're in of, of our choice um so given that situation do you think this will change us as as human beings and our responses to external stimuli to, it, will it will it change the form uh, that travel takes in 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 the months and years ahead well to speak to the first part of that question first i, I think we have to make sure it changes us in a positive direction uh, we could either see it as only in terms of catastrophe or we can see it as uh, opportunity but you're absolutely right um it inevitably will change us uh but when you were saying about enforced stillness all our circumstances in some ways are imposed on us and i've always felt that an argument with, with reality is one that will never win so we can't wish things were otherwise we have to work with the conditions we have and see what potential lies inside them for example i've been thinking what am i going to miss about this virus season when things return more to normal and i'm sure there will be such things uh, i've been next to my mother every day for the last 6 months i've had much more time to write um i've had much more time just to catch a breath and take walks and my hope is that i can incorporate some of those back into my normal life when i return to it in terms of travel um we are going through this enforced hiatus at the moment but you know i'm old enough to remember how in 1990 we were all hearing about the end of history and then on september 12 2001 we were told here in the us this is the end of irony now we're being told this is the end of travel and i would say it's a suspension of travel uh but we all have to travel just to see our loved ones nowadays uh we have to travel to do our jobs so quite apart from the leisure aspect of travel i think it really this season marks the end of predictions um and and not the end of travel but just the end of our projecting what the future will bring but having said that travel is such a deep seated human imperative mankind's urge to travel has shaped the course of history in so many way, ways whether it's the rise and fall of civilizations colonization of new lands languages and cultures being sort of born out of travel as it were when travel comes to this kind of uh, standstill or at least uh, you know non essential travel comes to a standstill um is that going to fundamentally change who we are as human beings no i i i don't think so i think it just causes us to reevaluate our priorities and think about what we value um the most uh, and there may be aspects of travel as you say that we really miss but there's a lot of travel that's not so good last year i spent 7 months uh, constantly in the air and when i look back on it now i think what was i thinking <laughs> what was i really getting out of that you know i know this literary festival is partly as rahul was saying consecrated to ecology we've been so much kinder to the environment uh, this year and we all know the travel has been damaging our shared home um so there are many virtues in not traveling and when we do travel better than just traveling habitually or reflexively is to travel with a purpose and to make sure you can justify the carbon footprint that you'll be um leaving behind so i don't know i think if this moment causes us to reevaluate our lives and think about how much do we really want to travel and how much do we want to stay at home that's a good thing because my sense is that for the last 12 or 15 years many of our lives have been out of balance we've been sort of driving in a sports car at high speeds around blind curves and now suddenly we've come to a stop in the road a red light and that's not a bad thing if it moves us to think how do we want to be going forward as long as we're moving very fast we can't really process experience and make reasonable decisions and i think all of us in the last 6 months have been inspired and encouraged to think about what we want to do going forwards and then one small example my mother's 89 years old and she was rushed into the hospital in an ambulance uh, early on in the pandemic and i had to travel back from japan to be with her and when i arrived at her bedside i thought to myself what's really going to sustain her not my checkbook not my resume not any of the books that i've written the only thing i could really bring to her is whatever resources i've gathered within as bachi was saying in the introduction and i think we're all of us in that state and this crisis has dramatized the fact that we're only as rich as our inner savings accounts 
uh, and that external things aren't really going to help us when we're faced with difficult realities.